and welcome to Nitty the Notes. Here's a rhythm worksheet that is right ahead of the next piece, uh, which is Yankee Doodle. So as a review, remember that the top number of a time signature tells you how many counts or beats are in the measure, and the bottom number tells you what type of a note receives one beat. Because there are four quarter notes in a whole note, the number four means that the quarter note gets one beat. Um, so then you can practice drawing a quarter note, which works best if you do a little oval and fill it in and then add a stem, or it could be this way, or it could be that way. And then a half note, you would have the stem, whoops, that's not very good. You would have the stem which could go up or down. A whole note would not have the stem. So here we have a four, four meter and every measure comes up to four. So here we go, one, two, three, four. This is three counts, one, two, three. Remember a dot after a note always adds half the value of a note back to it. So a half note plus half of a half note, which is a quarter note, comes to three counts. And then this beat four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I will point and tap and you can clap. One, two, ready, clap. One, two, three, clap, shake. One, two, three, four, clap, shake. Three, four, clap, shake, shake. Four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You could also play it on a single note, or you could play it on the black keys and make up your own melody. Now you can subdivide, or you can divide, I'm sorry, I always use the word subdivide when I mean to say divide. You can divide a quarter note into two eighth notes. So a quarter note is one, 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 and the eighth notes are one and one and one and one and. You also have a quarter rest. Of course you got your half note. Um, here's your half rest, dotted half note, and whole note. And some people, especially at the beginning stages, if you have to deal with eighth notes, then they like to divide every beat into two, one and two and. So what they're doing here is going um, one and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four and. So I can write that in for you, but you should write it in for yourself if you can get this printed out. One and two and three and four and. And as you become more advanced, you won't need to subdivide like that. You'll have a good sense of one, one, or one and two and. Just kidding. I'm already thinking ahead to the next thing I'm going to do. Instead of focusing on what I am doing right now, So I'll pick G and I'll play it. You can play it or you can clap it and count it with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and 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 two, and three. So hopefully that went spectacularly well. And here is another uh, 
rhythm page. I'm going to try to plug in my microphone because I forgot to do that. And we always get a better sound if we have the microphone plugged in. So this is introducing dotted quarter notes. And just like a dotted half note, with a dotted quarter note, the value of the note to it. So you can also start looking at it this way. One and two and one and two and with a tie, and that translates into the dotted quarter note. One and two and. So here you've got one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. So hopefully that helps. Okay, the next video is going to be about Yankee Doodle.